<laughs> oh man, oh man, oh man. Just like the title says, what's going on party people, first of all? Just like the title says, y'all don't realize you have given them the blueprint for not paying you any money. Now I know y'all saw the video that I did earlier about the question my son asked and then there was a couple of people asking, you know, making their statements about, you know, they thinking people trying to get over on them and they got it out for them and and I'm probably exaggerating it a little bit. So don't hit me back to my man, you ain't but what I said. I'm just exaggerating a little bit. But basically that's the way it comes across to me like you know, these signing companies are specifically, you know, maybe targeting you or targeting notaries. And yeah, we're going to screw these notaries over, man. Yeah, we're going to get them, man. That's what they trying to do. And if y'all don't really pay attention to what you're saying, you're giving them the blueprint for not paying you. And I'm explaining. You're sitting there saying first of all the first blueprint you gave them and they put it and they've already implemented it you said i ain't getting up off my couch unless i'm getting paid this particular dollar amount or more so a lot of the companies have adjusted how much they're paying they literally have adjusted how much they're paying to a lot of these new notaries now the senior notaries we still getting our money but i have seen the lower ones out there but then you also are giving them the blueprint, two other pieces of blueprint. One, the per page thing. All of a sudden, all these notaries are, are whining about what they got, how much it's gonna cost them to print. You shouldn't have never got your butt in this business if you worried about how much it costs. Their cost, I'm guaranteeing you, their cost is greater. And as I was commenting back and forth with one one of the um one of the persons out there, I don't know if they're subscribing that, so I'm not gonna say subscribing, maybe they are I'm not. But he kept talking about, you know, he thinks it's fair that or she, um, I figured it might be a gentleman because of the the name, the uh, screen name. But we'll say him, and if I'm incorrect, please forgive me, or them, or they. Cause I don't wanna call a person a it, you know, nobody's a it. But the thing is this, they say they think it's fair to get half because it's listed, because $250 is listed on the settlement statement. Okay, okay. So because it's listed, you want half. All right, so here's what I would do if I was a title company, escrow company, any of them. I'm paying you, you said you didn't like the fact that you're getting paid 75, no problem, no problem at all. Here's what I'll do. Hold on, let me. I'm trying to lighten that a little. Okay. There we go. So here's what I would do. I would just list, since you like to look at lists and numbers and stuff, I would just list 150 now what you got to say you said you want half of what's listed so what i would do is i will list 150 and give you half of that you just told me how to how to pay you 75 dollars. that's what you just did you just told me and what on, on my channel and everybody else's channel and form and all of that how to pay you $75. I'ma just list 150. Come on, talk to me, somebody. See, we're not thinking. You're sitting here telling people how to disrespect you. You're telling people how to give you less and not to even consider giving you more because you said whatever you got listed on your piece of paper, I won't have. So I will list 150, 120, 180, 190, and give you half of that. And then what you gonna say? You can't say a thing because what? You got what you asked for. 
you have what you confess. You confess that you need half of what they got listed. So we can figure out how to put the rest of the money. So I'm getting 250. I can slide the other hundred dollars into some other cost or list it as something else that's not listed as a notary fee. I will list it as something else. It's my business, the title company, and I will list it as however I want so that you can get your fair pay. Half of what I got listed. The other way you're telling people how to pay you is this cost per page. Oh, you want more money because it's costing you this amount of pages. So you're saying there's a cost per page that I should be paying you because you got a print. Not a problem. When I have a small order, don't expect $100. Because you've already laid out that if it's a dollar, if, if you're equating a dollar amount to the pages that you have to print. Okay, so guess what? We can do a couple of things. There's a couple of things we can do. And it's not hard, and, it's, and it was done this way before any of you all got involved with the notary business. We'll just overnight the documents to you. Because one, it's not costing us any extra because we're knocking the price down. Okay, we're going to knock the price down because you're saying you want to get paid because you got a print. Not a problem. I'll overnight it to you. When I'm dealing with you, come on, come on, come on. Gotta let this truck over. Come on, people, come on. When we, what we're gonna do is this. We will overnight you the documents. It's that simple. You will be overnighted the documents, therefore you ain't gotta print nothing. We'll incur the cost of printing and we'll incur the cost of shipping. So since we got you booked this far in advance, we will overnight the documents to you. End of story. Or we will just, if we have a document, we have an order that has below a certain amount of pages, we're gonna pay you accordingly. We will pay you less. Do not expect $150 for a seller's package that we normally would pay for and it only has 20 pages. But you're saying, you know, so, that to me that would be you're over you're being overpaid because you're saying you're being underpaid if you got to print 185 pages for 95 or 100 dollars or even 75 so you're saying you're being underpaid so if you're being underpaid for printing 180 then i need to pay you even less if you're going to be printing 20 pages you're telling people how to mess you over. You're telling people how not to pay you. Company called me up, said we got a signing. We're gonna pay you 150. It's six, it's four documents, six pages. Is that fine with you? No problem. Got you covered. So if they did that, you ain't got a problem with it. Well, I ain't gotta print that many pages. Okay, well, if you don't have to print that many pages, then it shouldn't, then you don't really need that much money. Because you're saying you need a certain dollar amount to cover the cost of printing the pages. And if we remove that burden on you, then what? Or better yet, if we have a partnership with a particular group down there, real estate group, another title company, uh, a bank and we ask them to print and all we need you to do is just to show up we will pay you accordingly uh-huh yeah it's starting to sink in now isn't it average people fuss about this kind of stuff average people focus on these little trivial things and whine and cry and fuss about all of this stuff you're finding a way not to do work in my opinion when you are being average in your thought process and everything you sit there and find well i ain't doing that because this and now so now they got this well you got to get paid per page for every page you got to print i think somebody was talking about ten dollars a page When you run the numbers, 
it's costing you for toner from from a brother printer in order to get in order for it to cost you two cents per page the toner cartridge has to cost you the individual toner cartridge has to cost you a hundred and eighty dollars so you take a hundred and eighty divide it by twelve thousand that comes out to one uh, one point five um cents point zero zero one five or point zero one five point zero one five so that means you round it up since it's five or more two cents so when you hit 180 dollars per toner cartridge then it's costing you two cents per page anything less than that it's only costing you one cent per page to print the paper barely costing you a, a, a penny a page so you're talking about in total last i did the numbers about four cents a page maybe less something like that you run the numbers on four cents a page times 300 that that doesn't equate to an additional 50 dollars somebody that don't know math or you really have just listened to all of these people in these forums and groups and you really don't have a true business mindset to understand the whole concept you really don't you you don't understand the whole concept okay what we got going on here no bus you know you don't understand the full concept of running a business and of course you hit the comment section no no i do know i do know no 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 if you understood how to do the math and then you take into account all the I'm all this running around I'm doing. Okay, you rip, you ripping and running this that and the other, but guess what? All of that is fifty six cents a mile you get. Fifty six cents a mile you get. That's what you got. So you get that tax deduction, but I guess fifty six cents a mile isn't good enough. I don't I don't know what you I don't know what you want out of this notary life i mean how much do you want to get paid that's the question and nobody will answer that question everybody keeps skirting look at the comment section if they, if those cats hadn't deleted our thread i'm asking the question how much do you want to get paid one of them i know i did how much do you want to get paid and then the other person i asked you mean to tell so if you're saying you getting you want half of what they got that means you and them put in equal effort to do that closing and I never got an answer. I didn't get a yes or a no. I just got, well, no, we know they do this, but we also do footwork and we do this. Okay, what, then what do you do as a notary that's equivalent to what they did as a title company or a signing company in order to justify you getting half of what they got? Because I'm going to tell you now, and some of you, you, you either know some street dudes or you used to be a street dude or street gal and you was out there as a corner person you know doggone well you couldn't go up to that OG and be like yo you know I've been working on, on them corners all day I should get half of what I brought in to you so you bring in 50 G's and you gonna tell that OG to give you half just because you were standing on that corner slinging for 12 hours Maybe y'all missed the five heartbeats. What did Red say? My office hours are from this time to that time. Working with Red, you knew you was going to get messed over. If you don't want to get messed over, go work for somebody else. It's that simple. You move on from certain companies. Certain companies got a certain um, business model. They operate a certain way. This is how they do. Once you understand how they do, you take what you can from them, and then you take what you can from them, you gain the experience, and then you move on. That's what Michael did, all of them. Be like Master P. Do your own thing. Be like, I mean, everybody always bragging about, what's his name, um, Jay-Z and them. Do your own thing. You don't have to be up under them. Start your own title company, escrow company, or what have you. But you're trying to make somebody give you something that they don't want to give you. 
That's like you in a relationship and you trying to make somebody love you, make somebody marry you, make somebody, make somebody, make somebody. That is not the hallmark of business. That you going around, well, I'm going I'm, I'm to make you pay me this. I'm going to make you pay me that because that's what I think I'm worth. <sighs> Man. All I can say, thank you. Because it's about to be a, a great clearing out. It's about to be a great clearing out. You're going to be dropping. Folk going to be dropping. They're going to be dropping. Do, 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 do. They're going to be dropping because you got the wrong mindset. The wrong mindset. Instead of going out here and doing what you got to do, you're trying to make people give you what you want without actually working for it. But you don't have that same energy for your day job. You do you. All right. I'm going to put it I'm going to put it to you this way. I will give if somebody especially those who commented, those who put the comments in there, show me the numbers. Show me the numbers that justify what you're saying. Show me the numbers that justify that you have done just the, the same equal amount of work. This is an order coming in. The same equal amount of work that justifies you getting. Yeah, I can't do that one. And this one for 75, but I got a for seven o'clock on Friday, but I can't do it. It's in my zip code, but I can't do it because I'm already booked at six and I and there's no way I'm gonna get to it in time. So I can't even do that. The $75 one. I would do it, but I can't because I'm already booked at that time. So I, I can't even do that one. Um and everything but my thing is this i will give anybody the one person that can sit me down and we'll get down and i and we're gonna do and we're gonna do a live um a zoom and record it or whatever and i need you to show me the numbers of how you justify all of these costs that you claim now you got to take into account the tax deductions that you get and all of those other things too you can't just say well it cost me this but what about the tax benefits that you get Self-employment deduction um, you get 56 cents a mile Show me the true numbers Why you say Because you got to Because it's more than 150 pages You need to get paid another 50 or 75 dollars Show me the numbers that it costs that much to print Extra additional pages 30 more pages And you need to get paid that much more Show me the numbers legitimately And you'll get a hundred dollar gift card from me from Amazon it's that simple. Show me the numbers and I'll give you a hundred dollar gift card from Amazon. It's that simple. Show me and I, I'll do it. I could have went cheap with this and say, well, I'll just buy you a case of paper. No, I'm going to give you a hundred dollar gift card. You can get your own paper and that's enough, you know, get your tone or whatever. Because nobody is putting up the numbers. Everybody is bumping their gums and saying what the numbers are, but nobody is really breaking the numbers down. And I know who y'all gonna refer to from back then, but they didn't take into account the tax deductions, the true tax deductions, okay? They didn't take that into an account. And this isn't about what you make per hour, okay? So you can't do this and say, I'm a business owner, but here's what I'm making per hour because we don't work per hour, okay? That's that's the wrong thought process and mindset with this. I'm getting ready to go because I got a Ron notary to do um, in a in a little bit, and I got to go get set up for that. But we 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 got to sit down face to face over Zoom or whatever we're gonna do live on YouTube or whatever. And I need you to show me the numbers. I I need to I need to see the numbers. So everybody, we, we can put this to bed once and for all. Because many of you who's talking this stuff are new in the business, barely been in it that long, and you heard a few people, supposedly senior notaries, talking trash on these Facebook groups and notary forms and stuff. And they're not showing numbers. They're just saying this, and they're not showing any numbers. So show some numbers. I'll be more than happy to sit down with you and them or whoever, show me some legitimate numbers. 
show me justification why you should get half of what's listed just because you did some work on this show me the show me that you did the actual 50 percent of what needed to take to do this closing show me that you are you deserve half of that show me that's what i want i, I want to see because i don't i don't believe i don't believe it's justified and all this time i've been on youtube and every single time i start talking about anything doing work under a hundred dollars folks start coming out the woodworks especially the fellas and none of y'all have yet to show me the numbers you got a lot of talk but you ain't showed me the numbers i want to see the numbers and i know you can't show me the numbers because the people who you getting it from they're not showing you the numbers so nobody's showing you numbers and i have shown numbers i've shown numbers i've shown numbers and i'm gonna show them again that's all I got for now. Peace.